The Revolution, the Revolution Ciudadana Political Movement of former President Rafael Correa is leading so far the vote counts of four mayors and prefects in the largest provinces of Ecuador. President of Turkey and Syria confirmed that the death toll exceeded 2,300 people after a strong earthquake. In the United Kingdom, health workers launched a new strike this Monday. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrelo from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We begin with the news. Stay with us. The Revolution Ciudadana Political Movements of former President Rafael Correa is leading so far the vote count for mayors and prefects in the largest uh, provinces of Ecuador in Sunday's uh, sectional elections. With more than 90% of the ballots counted, the representative of the political forces are the virtual winner of the majorities, uh, mayoralities of Quito, Guayaquil, Santo Domingo, Esmeraldas, uh, Ibabura, among others. Revolution, uh, Revolution Ciudadana also laid uh, results in uh, important uh, prefectures such as Pichincha, Manabí, Azuay, Santo Domingo, De Los Chilas, uh, Ibambura, and Guayas. According to journalists Orlando Perez, uh, neither prosecutors, uh, persecution, uh, infamy, hamster men, uh, or false news could be uh, the Ecuadorian people who have uh, beaten the media mafia and uh, financial power with uh, these results. As of for the, this referendum called by President Guillermo Lasso, the no option is imposed and it implies a popular rejection of the government's proposal on issues such as extradition, institutionalism, political representation and the environment. As of this past Sunday, in Peru, the government of Dina Boluarte decreed a state of exemption in seven regions of the canton, popular unrest. The measure will be enforced for a period of 60 days in the regions of Madre de Dios, Cusco, Puno, Prima, Garquipa, Mosquegua, and Tacna. This decree comes after 26 people were arrested a day before that and another 24 others were injured by police during the protests in Lima. While the state of exception is in effect, the constitutional rights related to the inviolability of the home freedom of uh, transit through the national territory, freedom of assembly, and personal safety are either restricted or suspended. During this time, the Peruvian National Police will maintain domestic order with the support of the Army, except for the Puno Department, which is under Army control. The National Disaster Prevent and Response Service in Chile ordered the evacuation of two sectors from the municipality of Quillon, located in the New Blue region, due to the severe fires that continue the range in the area. The agency sends messages through the emergency alert system and stress the need for immediate evacuation of high risk areas, especially Licura Bajo Sur and Licura Alto Sur, where the fire has already reached the houses. Residents were also advised to evacuate in the calm manner and follow the orders of local authorities. Another recommendation was to take their pets with them and kids with basic necessities. The President of Chile, Gabriel Boric, thanks his Mexican counterpart Andrés Manuel López Obrador on Monday for sending 150 brigadas 
to confront the large-scale fires affecting the center south of the country. On his Twitter account, the mandatory bride and international cooperation on Latin American support present. The Mexican contingent arrived on Monday in Concepcion, capital of the Bio Bio region, one of the most devastated by the blast. These four fires are considered deadliest in decades and has so far caused 26 deaths and nearly a thousand injured. Color Vision Canal 9, the Ministry of Public Health of the Dominican Republic reported this Monday five new cases of cholera in the sector of Los Ores del Almirante in the province of Santo Domingo. After knowing the results of the correspondent analysis, it was reported of four men aged 82, 45, 37 and 18 years respectively and a woman aged 34 were positive for cholera. The patients uh, were uh, admitted on February the 2nd and the 3rd. They were uh, hydrated and stabilized, and uh, corporal legal samples were taken immediately. The health authorities informed that they are uh, maintaining an epidemiological surveillance with close relatives and a presence intervention in the areas to detect, prevent, and investigate any suspect case of the disease. Let's take a very short right now, but remember, you can now follow us on our TikTok account, as well as in English, in which you will be able to see news in different formats, news updates, and more. Stay tuned for more news. Welcome back to From the South. A powerful earthquake is stuck in southeastern Turkey near the Syrian border, killing more than 900 people. According to experts, this was one of the most powerful quakes in the region at least century, while a second powerful shake hours later threatens to overwhelm rescue efforts. The magnitude 7.8 quake was followed by a second 7.7 earthquake as uh, rescuers in both countries will still attempt them to search uh, for survivors. Turkish and Syrian presidents said more than 2,300 people were killed with more than 5,000 injured and nearly 3,000 buildings had collapsed. A gas pipeline exploded in the town of uh, Tumbuga City in Turkey's Haidan province moments after a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit the south of the country. Local authorities reported that two fires broke out at two points in the infrastructure and as a persecution they stopped the flow of natural gas, gas to several southern Turkish provinces. The cause of this has been reported so far as a result of the explosion. The Syrian and Turkish government mobilized to respond to the required emergency. Estimated death tolls in both nations reach more than a thousand people. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad held an emergency meeting on Monday to review the situation after the 7.8 magnitude earthquake hit the north of the country. A team was deployed to carry out recovery as well as search and rescue workers. Meanwhile, his Turkish counterpart Recep Tayyip Erdogan said more than 9,000 uh, troops were uh, on site to help rescue efforts on the ground. Update data showing that at least 900 people died in Turkey after the earthquake, while in Syria the toll stands at more than 500. Russian President Vladimir Putin expressed his deepest condolences to his counterparts in Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and Syria, Bashar al-Assad, for the severe consequences of the earthquake that hit the south of the countries. Ensuring that his government and the Russian people shares the grief over the extensive loss of lives and destruction caused by the devastating earthquake, Russian head of state offered all necessary assistance to the Syrian and Turkish government and its people. President Putin also said Moscow shared the grief and sorrow of those who lost loved ones and wish a speedy recovery to all the injured. Italy's Premier Giorgio Meloni expressed solidarity on Monday for the peoples affected by the 7.8 magnitude earthquake that hit Turkey and southern Syria, killing thousands. 
The Italian government said in a statement that Premier de Milani is constantly updated by the Civil Protection Department and following the developments that Rucari and the devastating earthquake. Meanwhile, Italian Foreign Minister Antonio Tahini spoke with his Turkish counterpart, Pablo Kavusoglu, to express Italian support and offered the help on the Italian Civil Protection Department. As part of the solidarity show by the international community after the severe earthquake that hit Turkey and Syria on Monday, Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel expressed his deepest condolences to the Turkish and Syrian people and governments for the losses of lives, injuries, and infrastructure damage caused by the earthquake. He added that Atlanta's willingness to help in the taking care of the victims. And we have more news coming up after the final short break. No, don't go away. Welcome back. In the United Kingdom, health workers launched a new strike this Monday. Unions expect this to be the biggest strike in decades. 750,000 nurseries in ambulances workers are in a wage dispute and denounce the unwillingness of the Rishi Suna government to reach an agreement. 100 days of the Rishi Suna government have passed and there's been no quoted on quote honeymoon because. Last Friday, there was another rally strike and there are another 14 forces measures on the part of work schedule for this month of February. Ukrainian forces used uh, chemical weapons along the Solidar and uh, Artemovsk areas in the Donetsk People's Republic. According to the Jan Gengin, an advisor to the head of the Donetsk People's Republic, said Union commanders reported that Kiev used chemical weapons along several front lines, but mostly in the Solidar and uh, Artemovsk ones. They added some fighters experienced several uh, diagnoses in nauseous and vomiting as a consequence of the chemical attacks. Gengin points out that Ukraine and had used chemical weapons before, but this time they spread chemical from special containers in cell and drones. Poland's Defense Ministry confirmed on Monday that uh, petroleum muscles uh, batteries uh, the country acquired from the United States last year that had been deployed to the capital uh, Warsaw as a part of military exercises. At least three ground tour the missiles launch were seen in a Warsaw memo airport on Monday. And meanwhile, Defense Minister Marius Blaskak said that the redevelopment of the missiles about at least from their bases in Sochiside to Warsaw was an important element to training of the third Warsaw Brigade of Missile Air Defense. China's Vice Foreign Minister Xi Fen on Monday urged the United States to not escalate tensions or take further actions to harm the Asian Union's interests. This came in response to the shooting down of the Chinese Unhem airship that it was civilian in nature and entered the U.S. airspace by accident. In remarks to the U.S. Embassy in China, Feng added his government is closely following the development of the situation and firmly opposed and strongly protest the U.S. actions. Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei agreed to grant amnesty to tens of thousands of prisoners among which are people convicted for taking part in recent protests and riots. The part that requested that had been made by Iran's chief judiciary, Golad Hossein Mohsen A.G. The decision coincided with the 44th anniversary of the Iranian Islamic Revolution, which is celebrated the Friday the 1st through the 11th. The Supreme Leader regularly issued similar pardon on occasions of various religious festivities. 
Este News Agency in Irna reported that those who participate in the protests and riots could have their sentences reducted or be pardoned altogether, providing they have not been accused of espionage of containing foreign intelligence agents, did not damage state property or did not injure or kill anyone during the riots. East African leaders call for a ceasefire between the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Rwanda. The call for a ceasefire though, was issued in a statement at the end of the East African Community Summit in Burundi. Two, with tensions between Kinshasa and Kigali have uh, risen on talks over rising violence in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Both nations accuse each other of supporting armed rebels. On January, bilateral tensions escalated after Rwanda fired on a Congolese military plane that allegedly violated its airspace. Pope Francis concluded his visit to Africa on Sunday with an appeal to lay down arms during a mass in the capital of South Sudan. The mass on Marian of a six day tour from peace and reconciliation that began in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Francis uh, departed the Sudanese uh, capital at around uh, 12 uh, local time, together with the head of churches of England and Scotland, representative of other two Christian demonstrators in South Sudan, who accompanied him during the visit. And we have come to the end of this news brief, but you can find this and many other stories on our website at teleseringlish.net. You can also join us on our socials, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram as well. For the English and from the South, I'm Ana Marrero and thank you for watching.